But today we're going to do a video and show you how to add pictures into your project. We're going to go through this part a little bit quickly. So if you need to see it slower, please view our previous video um, understanding the software. So we're going to start off by selecting our photo book size and how many pages we would like. And yeah, we're going to go to the editor. I'm going to name our project. And then once we hit continue, the um, project will open. Okay, so now that the designer has opened up, so you can see here we've got our cover and then we've got all our pages up the top here. So the pages already have um, picture boxes laid out based on the um, Terrazzo collection that we have selected. But you can add or delete these and change them around as you're working through your photo book. So... To start with adding pictures, you would select this plus icon here. So you can either choose to add individual pictures or a folder of pictures. We always recommend collating all your photos first before you begin your project and adding them all to a folder. Um, it just makes it easier to upload a whole folder of pictures. Um, but also if you're needing to change computers later on in the future, it's just easier to move a whole folder of pictures around rather than individual pictures as well. So if we select add folder, now, uh, a key uh, tip to remember, so we always reference the original um, location of your, um, your folders, your pictures. So when you um, upload your photos to your project, um, don't move the folder from its original location uh, because if you close the program and then you go to work on it at a later stage if you've moved the folder from its original location the software won't know where the folder's gone and where the pictures have um, moved to so if you do move a folder you'll receive a little um, missing missing photos error up here on the software. So always try and keep the folder in its original location. Same thing if you go to reorder the project later on down the track, if you want a second copy and you've moved your photos, uh, same thing, you will receive a um, missing photos error pop up. So always just keep the folder in its original location unless you really, really need to move the folders. We also don't delete your projects from the software so you can take as long as you like to work on your photo book just remember to um, continue to save your project as you're working through your book so now that we've added our pictures you will see that they will all appear on the side here um, so to add your picture into your picture box you would simply just drag and drop the picture we always recommend um, laying out all your picture boxes first and then just dragging and dropping the picture straight into the picture box. Um, that way you don't have to sit there um, restretching and resizing the photo. So now if you would like to crop or edit the photo, you would double click on the picture box and you will see that there's a picture box here. So you can move the picture box around. You can zoom as small or as big as you would like it. Um, to position your photo. So once you're happy with your positioning and your cropping, you would select OK. So whatever you see up here in this picture box is what's actually going to appear on your page. So same thing again, if you'd like to zoom in, you can get closer and hit OK. So you just pretty much just work through your book. If there's a particular um, page style that you don't like, um, you can delete a picture box. So you can just um, select the picture box and hit delete. We have this add picture box icon here. So if you'd like to add your own picture boxes, you can just select add picture box and then you can drag the picture box around and add it to the page wherever you would like. So we'll do or that way so you can make if you click onto the picture box you can drag it and make the picture box as big or small as you like as well so if there is a particular page style that you create um, that you like and you would want to use um, on multiple pages if you come down here and click on this little drop down menu here so you can save your page style. So if we click save our 
left hand page um, new page style and hit OK you will see it appear down the bottom here so if you want to use it on multiple pages so if you want to use it on multiple pages you can just drag and drop it straight onto the page or if you right click on the style on the page style down the bottom here you can select to assign it to all the pages or the left hand side or all the right hand side so we'll select all right hand pages today and then you'll see it appear up the top here so then all you got to do is just simply um, drag your pictures and drop straight into the picture box so we do have some more page styles down the bottom here so if you um, just scroll through you'll see that there's um, various um, page styles that you can choose from if there's something else that you would like there's also different backgrounds that you can use as well so these are all the page styles with the same type of background or you've got other backgrounds that you can use as well. Um, there's also other, there's like masks and backgrounds and frames and scrapbook images that you can use onto your book as well. Um, you just would just drag and drop it straight onto the page. If you would like to add any borders on the pages, um, so we've got all these little um, extra features up the top here. Uh, we go through all this in the previous video, understanding the software, um, but I'll just quickly show you a couple um, that you can add to your picture box. So you, see, so you can add a shape, you can change the shape of the picture box as well. So you can make it a circle picture box or a triangle. So you can change all the shapes around to the picture boxes. Um, you can add a border to the picture box as well. So you can make the border as thin or thick as you like. You can also change the color of the border. Um, so these are our um, basic colors, but if you click on other, you can also um, come to our color picker as well. So you can um, choose a particular color that you like and go add to custom, and then you'll see it appear down the bottom there as well. Um, you can add shadows as well to the picture box so you can make the shadow as big or s small as you like you can angle the shadow at a different angle again you can change the color of the shadow as well so there's lots of little um, little things that you can um, do to um, make the photo book yours and customize it to your liking um, so that's just a basic um, a quick video on how to um, add pictures to your uh, project. Um, if you'd like to see how to add text boxes to your project, please see our uh, next video. Thank you.